I don't know why liberals hate space travel so much, but that seems to be the case. When President Obama came to power, he destroyed NASA's noble goal of exploring outer space. He shut down the Space Shuttle program, a program that helped astronauts leave and re-enter the atmosphere safer than they had even done before. He pushed for space travel to be relegated to private businesses, which would have turned space travel into a closed garden for the super-rich. No longer would scientists and explorers be on the cutting edge of space travel. Instead it would have become a cruise line. Worse yet was what Obama forced NASA to pursue. He made the goal of National Aeronautics and Space Administration to study climate change and look for ways to encourage Muslim students to pursue math and science. I'm all for kids getting into math and science. But why only Muslims? Shouldn't students of all religious backgrounds be encouraged to appreciate for math and science? You can ponder that one yourself. But he also forced NASA to prop up the dubious claims of climate scientists. So instead of using their considerable knowledge and technology to explore the cosmos, under Obama NASA was forced to push an idea that gives socialist governments more power over private citizens. Peachy. But thank God Obama is no longer president and we have a leader that actually believes in the future of NASA. From the right scoop, President Donald Trump signed a bill into law Tuesday that updates NASA's mission to add exploration of Mars and authorizes $19.5 billion in spending for the U.S. Space Agency for the current budget year. It's the first time in seven years that there has been an authorization bill for the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known as NASA, said Senator Ted Cruz, a chief sponsor of the bill. Cruz joined several astronauts and other lawmakers in the Oval Office to watch Trump sign the bill. For almost six decades, NASA's work has inspired millions and millions of Americans to imagine distant worlds and a better future right here on Earth. Trump said, I'm delighted to sign this bill. It's been a long time since a bill like this has been signed, reaffirming our commitment to the core mission of NASA, human space exploration, space science and technology. The measure amends current law to add human exploration of the Red Planet as a goal for the agency. It supports use of the International Space Station through at least 2024 along with private sector companies partnering with NASA to deliver cargo and experiments, among other steps. Why should we let private enterprises like Mars One or Elon Musk get to Mars first? We were the ones who landed on the moon, setting a standard that no other nation has matched. It was American ingenuity that developed the Apollo program and subsequent programs that put men into space. And it will be that same ingenuity that will take us to Mars and beyond. President Trump's support of NASA means a bright future for not only space exploration, but the development of new and exciting technology. As NASA provides solutions for traveling greater distances through space, much of those discoveries will greatly impact our day-to-day -day lives, such as the creation of simple things like Velcro or big things like MRIs. The Patriot Journal helped contribute to this report. Its news exposed signing off.